Elaine, start the mower. Key. Handbrake. On. It won't start without. Yellow lever. A little bit of throttle. Choke. Black. All the way. Turn the key. Kill the choke. Bit of accelerator. That's the only time you need to choke is when it's cold. And break up. That will move forward. Easy, eh? Stop. Put brake on. And brake on. And now we can get off if we want to. How's that? John Deere X155R. Not when you've got an RBI to you anyway, I'll be starting to go. No, the back, the back end. I've took the catcher off because sometimes the grass is too wet and it won't shoot into there properly. It comes out of that hole there. And you can see the, the grass underneath it and that. But anyway, if you do that, you've got to, this thing here, illegal, but put a clothes peg on it. See, put a clothes peg on it, so keep them contacts shut, and then you can cut grass without that. And you try and cut grass like that, it won't do it because it's not, it's not connected. Then, if you're doing that and this clogs up this shoe to you, I'll show you what you have to do. Grass will come out of the side and you'll leave clogs of it behind you. So, what you have to do, you have to get a stick and go in there and rake it all out all the grass out like that till it's all clean again and then you're alright then you can carry on again this that is for pushing the mower when it's not running that is for wet or dry grass but I don't touch it and that's about all the other thing take that off then to put the back on, it's the hardest thing in the world. Not supposed to be easy. That is supposed to line up with that. No, oh, it did that time. But it's usually very difficult. Right. That's that. That's where you put the petrol. That's all right. Well, lower height, we know that because it's by the yellow spot. Battery. Use that to start the car if it breaks. Air filter in there. And then when you change the oil, if you want to change the oil, this little, see that there? I thought it undid like a nut, but it doesn't. You only have to t a little halfway and pull it off and all the oil will come out, right? So that's that. Then when the oil's drained out, you push it back. Push it back on just turn, half a turn. And then you, you put the oil in through there, like you do with a normal mower. In there. That's a dipstick as well. Then, but when you change the oil, after you've let it out of that thing, around here, it's just a John Briggs standard oil filter, which is $13 from S SES Services down Leet Street. Or you can go to um, uh, Repco and they'll sell you on a different make, but it's equivalent. And that, put a screwdriver in it and turn it to get it off. That's a fuel filter to get dirty fuel.